Hey there Aquarius, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Aquarius or anybody else that was drawn here. Take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. I'm going to start with the moon deck. Just get one or two cards as an overall energy here. And then I'm going to do a Celtic crossbred with the chakra tarot. So let's see overall what do we have for Aquarius. Please and thank you so much, Spirit. I trust the change unfolding in my life. 41 is a 5 is change, of course. Movement awakens my creative spirit. 27 is a 9. Speaks of wish fulfillment. Interesting. Go with it. You're probably going to love it. Whatever it is that's changing and you're trusting it, it's awakening your creative spirit. I like when creative spirit comes out because that's when the universe is like, all right, listen, we owe you some blessings, but um, what do you want? What do you want? Because we could pick, but we've been picking. What do you want? I'm hearing extra credit. Ooh, extra credit. And then the deck does that. Yeah, seven of coins. Ooh, extra credit. Six of cups. Gifts and blessings for the work that you've done. I can't make this shit up. I breezed this. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. The cat is going crazy over my chapstick. Actually, you like the EOS too, huh? You goose goose. All right. Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment, you guys. Wish fulfillment. Whatever this change is, just roll with it. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. What is current energy for Aquarius? Um you just come off the table thank you name you chaos and mayhem goodness gravy the emperor aries and taurus this is about you putting your foot down speaking of incoming energy for aquarius please and thank you spirit this is about you t putting your foot down, taking back control of your kingdom. But I kind of feel like as an emperor, you're hearing the people. You're looking around and seeing what is needed in this place at this time. The sun and the five of coins. Yeah, what is needed? Not just for me, but for all involved. Not just for right now, but even in the future. Okay, so we're thinking real deep here. Okay. Your energy is about to spring forward. Or the amount of energy that you exert in a day is about to spring forward. It almost feels like, yeah, you've been you've been resting because you're going to need that energy. Um, it almost feels like somebody that's about to start working out. You're not used to working out for 20, 30 minutes a day or however long, right? But you're about to start working out. It's a big chunk of energy here. I wonder if it's a new... Um, New cleansing, new protection, new calling back energy, new something that you're doing here. It takes a lot of energy. Oh my gosh, is it worth it though? I'm also, oh no, hell no. There could be somebody from the past, or your family specifically, um, who reaches out. Mm -mm. They just want something. It's not a relationship. It's not to make amends. It's they want to borrow something, probably money. I'm getting if it's a physical item, you're probably not going to get it back. So that's not what we're talking about here. Knight of Cups. Now, in terms of love and romance, you haven't had the best 
um, history. Love hasn't been kind for you. It's absolutely been a battlefield. But it does look like there's somebody here that absolutely brightens your freaking day. They're the first person you think about when you wake up. They're the last person you think about when you go to sleep. Um, this is someone when you sit down and eat a meal, you imagine what it would be like if they were there with you. This could actually be somebody that you've gone on dates with as well, though, right? This could even be you guys are married and living together. And maybe things have just been a little bit uh, rocky, um, but it looks like everything's... The love is coming back. Life is coming back into the relationship. Somebody's deciding to work on a partnership, whether it's existing or new. Yeah, there's an emphasis on date. Date. It's been a while since we've gone on a date. Or would you like to go on a date with me? Right? Maybe this could be your last first date. What's the near future? Ten of Wands. Okay, so it's almost like breaking the ice. Yeah, with the underlying issue at hand. Breaking the ice with that so that we can let go of what we need to let go of. If there's an existing relationship, you two need to talk about something. But maybe do something fun first before you discuss the matter at hand, okay? If this is a new relationship though, don't be so scared to reach out. You're open and you know how to read people. Come on, don't play, you know. You're worried that you've got things that somebody won't approve of or appreciate you haven't even given them a chance yet. Change. Try something different. Shift the energy. Change the energy. Aquarius, the universe is asking you to be flexible here. How? Speaking of, how is the universe viewing Aquarius? Queen of Swords and Seven of Cups. Knowing that... Knowing that you have to make a decision, but not really sure what decision to make. You still haven't decided yet. You still haven't decided. What is this elephant in the room? It's what's missing. It's what's missing. We need to address this. It could be a touchy subject, a, a, like a sensitive one. It could be something that's hard to achieve. Um, there's something about this that has been pushed down. I can feel it in my heart now. The five of coins and the five of swords. Somebody's ego is getting checked here. That's why this is sensitive. Somebody's ego needs to be checked. What's the outcome? Or someone needs to come clean about some shit that they did. Could be with the finances. It could be with lies, but somebody needs to come clean. What's a potential outcome? This is weird. Temperance. Just gonna have to wait and find out. Seven of coins. The goal is to address the toxic energy. But not everything toxic is known. So this is like when you find out that someone's been lying, but you don't know everything that they've been lying about. You also don't know who all they've been lying to. 
right? So this is one of those need more information. Go with it for now. There's something about trusting the universe with um, not not things being returned to you. This isn't about a return. Um, someone here knows things. Someone here has been lying. Okay, there are more than, hold on, we have one, two, three people here. That's why I'm getting fucked up. I'm trying to read for two. There are three people here. I see. So... You, Aquarius, have been told lies about someone else. The person that told you these lies, they really thought they got away with it, but their ego is about to be checked severely. I don't think it's you. I don't even think it's the person they've been lying about. I think it's someone else. And the divine is leaving that a mystery for right now. So just know that someone around you has been lying about another individual and you are going to find out. Trust that whatever happens, happens for a reason. I want you to stay strong with your morals and your values on this. Seven, seven, seven. Someone has really been setting you up, but you're about to dodge that bullet. You're going to be pissed when you find out, but I don't think you're going to lose your head about it. I think you're just going to roll with it and you're going to be mad until you're not and it blows over and it's just going to be one of those time will tell there could be a divorce here. I can't lie. Um, there could be a divorce or a breakup going on. Here. Somebody, somebody's really, I mean, they're so scared that you find out the shit that they have been lying. I mean, there's a lot that they've been hiding. There could be secret bank accounts. There could be a secret partner. Because why are there three people? There should be two. Um, I don't know why I'm getting, oh, parents. King of Pentacles, that's dad. Duh, that's dad. Okay, so this is the father of the Tarot. So, okay, maybe this could be between a father and his son or a father and his wife. I don't There's some kind of family lying about other family and you're not going to be happy, bro. You're not going to be happy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you are going to find out, like, the truth is coming out. The truth is coming in. And in the foundation, there is some cold, heartless shit going on. Somebody may have been left out in the cold and they didn't fucking deserve that. Somebody's getting slept on and they don't deserve that. While somebody else gets all this love and attention and they're nothing but a snake. Uh, okay, so that's why you're thinking about apologizing to somebody. You may have cut somebody out here or been a little bit harsh to somebody that didn't deserve it. It's actually the whoever's telling you that information. They're lying to you. That information is false. Like that's who you need to be directing the anger at. Man, right when you think you got everything in order and then this happens. You couldn't have seen this coming is what I'm getting. Like you, you didn't see this coming. Yeah, six of cups, children, past. King of Swords, uh, there you are, Aquarius. There there really could be a rival. Somebody is just with the drama and the, the gossip and the mm, mm But you're seeing it. You're like, I see you. I see you now. There's a whole lot of stuff that's going to make sense. This is going to take a minute to process. Especially if this is some, like, if this person's been doing this. 
I don't know. But I'm going to leave it there. We've got Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius on the board. 555. Five, five. That's a downfall. I mean a tower. Well, it's no surprise. There's definitely a relationship that's crumbling because, you know, this person, they just lied too much about another individual. And now you have to make amends with that person, and you don't know. They could still be holding a grudge. That's what you don't know. You don't know. You're confused on how this person might feel. You know why? Because they're not showing their cards. They're not saying anything. Yeah. Because they're left out. They're in the cold. Nobody's even asked this person, are you still alive? Well, plot twist. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.